Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle guidance and instead of using oracle cards this week I'm actually going to use just the Sabian oracle and um, I have the book from Linda Hill called 360 Degrees of Wisdom Charting Your Destiny with the Sabian oracle and I felt like using these cards today because um, because we are on the brink of a lunar eclipse and uh, I just felt that channeled readings may not always be exactly uh, what we think they may be. And so I tend to steer away. Well, sometimes I, I steer away from doing channeled readings during the eclipses. And I felt that today would be one of those days. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, read the message from the book. And I don't actually have the Sabian Oracle cards with me that came with the with this book. Um I have, uh, I've just made my own um, to replace them. And today we have four options. So um, we have option one, two, three, and four. So go ahead and make a selection and uh, you can go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamp for your reading. In the meantime, I'm going to start with option one. So what is it that those of you who've chosen option one need to know for this week? Feel this is the card, it's Pisces, and I we have we are going to choose the number now. So, this would be one of the degrees between zero and the number 30. So, what is it that the those of you who have chosen the option number one need to know for this week? Okay, so we have Pisces 26. So, it has. Um, a new moon reveals that it's time for people to go ahead with their different projects. So I'm actually going to read the Oracle message here. All right. So um, basically, it says that a person needs at intervals to separate himself from family and companions and go to new places. He must go without his familiars in order to be open to influences to to change and that is a quote by Catherine Butler Hathaway. So the oracle reads as follows. There's an image here of the emergence of new possibilities and new horizons. This symbol can imply moving away from or splitting up of people. However, this may not always be the case. There could be a call for a couple to split off from the rest of the family or, for, or somebody might need some space to be alone or get on with something they want or need to do. Hence, it doesn't always mean a split or separation, although it certainly can. People have their own responses to situations, so it is important not to expect everyone to react in the same way when something unexpected or new comes up. Periodically, there is a need to let go of things from the past. Relationships, jobs, friendships, in fact, any situation at all, might be coming to completion or needing a break for a while. There can be the feeling of a dividing wall coming up between you and others. This situation may have been brewing for some time and now the consequences of it are coming to light. However, if people are given their own measure of freedom, they may, they may come back together with the time and energy, when the time and energy is right, pardon me. Perhaps it's a good idea to direct some energy into a new project at the time of the next new moon. Okay, so we're coming up on a, onto full moon tomorrow and uh, this is talking about uh, directing some energy at the next new moon, which I believe is on the 1st of August. Um, this is if you are looking, uh, if you're watching this at the, at the time at which I've recorded this video. So it says, light a candle and state your intentions with honesty and feel the effects of the rewards that can come flooding in with this new beginning. Remember to honor the other, the other person who may have their own project or path to follow. And they give some, te uh, some keywords here. And the keywords are as follows. Diversifying, applying talents in a different direction, people splitting up and splitting off, new opportunities and potentials, the beginning of a new age, letting go of the old and outworn separations, embracing one's future without the need for others. Coming to a fork in the road, divorces, new jobs, directions and destinies, the dawning of a new era. 
Okay, there's also a caution that comes with this. Um, so let me just show you how the page is set out. It's the commentary, the oracle. I've just read you the keywords and I'm going to read you the caution. All right, so it says, not giving or receiving... Oh, not giving or receiving emotional support, feeling split off and alone when one is with others, the fear and loathing of possible separation, overthrowing the old too quickly, changing direction unexpectedly, the fear of old age, relationships that fail again and again. So that's the caution, okay? So basically, that is the message for those of you who've chosen number one. It's Pisces 26. And this is your Sabian Oracle message for this week. I hope that's helpful and I hope that resonates with you. And I hope that um, you are able to have a fantastic week given the energies at play. All right. So wishing you well and till next week or till again. So moving on to the next option. We have here the option number two. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a card here. So what is it that those of you who've chosen this option need to know for this week? What is what is it that those of you who've chosen this option number two need to know for this week? Oops, this seems to have flown out. Let's go with it. It's the Leo. And we're going to choose a number. If you like those, ah, oh, this is it. Okay, so it's a Leo seventeen. Okay, so I don't know if you've watched the other one, but basically what I'm doing is taking the message from this book uh, here, and we are going to look for the Leo number seventeen. So it's basically a channel message for every degree of the zodiac. And we have it right here. So it says, volunteer church choir makes social event of a rehearsal. So these can be quite specific. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read you the oracle right here and the keywords and the caution. So it's so once again it states Volunteer church choir makes social event of a rehearsal. So the oracle message here is, you may feel the need to be with those of like mind, feelings and aspirations. Take the opportunity to share in their expression of spiritual joy and shared faith. Unified voices need to be heard and come, can uplift all who hear them. Coming together to contribute to the community without thought of more tangible rewards will bring a sense of belonging and fellowship on many levels. Bringing even the smallest tokens and gifts to the gathering will be appreciated in some way. Helpers may be required to come to the aid of others. There may be a, a need to test things out to see if they stand up to reality. Whether you receive rewards or are paid for the work you do or not, there may be a need to inject more fun and lightheartedness. Ultimately, if everyone is comfortable and friendly with each other, communication and the quality of work will improve. Even a gesture such as drinks after work can bring people closer together. Overall, everyone, everybody, uh, pardon me, should feel happy to be around people of like mind, not pressured to put in a top rate performance. Okay, so the key words here are as follows. Making the most of any situation, feelings of togetherness, rehearsing without worrying about what might happen, doing things without thought of reward, sharing community, catching up on what others are doing, basking, uh, sorry, busking and street seeing, learning to open up the throat, charity work, volunteers, sharing food and drink, small gifts for others, dedication to ideals, extending yourself by mixing in, gatherings, 
church or school halls. So this message is pretty, um, is pretty self-explanatory. And I would like here in this context to read uh, the comments, he, uh, these uh, quotes here by different people. And the first is, we do not exist for ourselves by Th Thomas Merton. And I feel that really encapsulate what, encapsulates what this is about. And it feels to me that uh, if there's heaviness about a certain function or event or something that you must do, the whole object objective of this is to actually inject light lightness into the situation and it's to have fun while doing it and to relax and to bring this to kind of breathe the relaxation into you uh, before you can go forward just breathe that into you and be there for others and recognize that all your problems can be solved if you step out and and volunteer or volunteer yourself or do some charity work where the concentration is not on you and whatever you're dealing with but rather on um, on others and what their needs are. And you'd find that miraculously your problems will be solved. And I just felt like adding that in here. Uh, the other comment is, or the other quote I would say, is, you give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. And that's by Khalil Gibran. And uh, the next one is, poor is the church without music. That's an Irish saying. The first time I sang in the church choir, 200 people changed their religion. Fred Allen. Um, that's a quote by Fred Allen. Uh, Mahalia Jackson said the following. Time is important to me because I want to sing long enough to leave a message. I'm used to singing in churches where nobody would dare stop me until the Lord arrives. A quote by Anonymous. Please do not shoot the piano player. He's doing the best that he can. And the last quote is by Mark Twain. The choir always tittered and whispered all through the service. There was once a church choir that was not ill-bred, but I was, but I have forgotten where it was. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty funny. I hope that's shed some light on what you should, what you, what you need to do for the week ahead and what you need to do with your situation at hand. Okay, so thank you very much for coming by. For those of you who have selected the option number two, we are going ahead now with the option number three. So for those of you who have chosen this option here, we shall begin by choosing the uh, star sign here. And the question I'm asking is, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay, we have Aquarius, and I'm going to choose your degree, the zodiac. Oops. What is it? But those who've chosen the option number three, this blue fox here, need to hear at this moment. Oh, this feels right. I'm going to go with the Aquarius 23 because it just feels right. And I felt the card in my fingers, uh, just trying to get my attention. So let me get this out of the frame. So we're going to go ahead here and look through and find Aquarius number 23. And I'm going to go ahead and read here uh, the, the, the oracle, the keywords, and uh, the caution. But the message uh, or the, the title of this uh, channeled Sabian Oracle message is a big trained bear sitting down and waving all its paws. So the Oracle message here reads as follows. Perhaps there are things you don't want to do, but it seems your duty to do. Act out or perform. There is a need to develop responses above and beyond the normal expected level. Perhaps you are indeed excelling in your level of performance. Only you can really tell, although others may also judge this. Look to your situation and see if you are com compromising yourself or merely acting out conditioned responses for the sake of others. 
Is someone waving their arms around when they should just be getting on with the job at hand? Having to play out an act for the sake of social protocol against one's natural instincts may lead to compromises that lower your self-esteem. Is someone acting a certain way and claiming they have no choice but to act this way? This image can also reflect a feeling of safety or having no sense of threat, which allows for playful antics or experimentation with unusual behaviors. So the key words read as follows. Developing skills, making excuses, performing rote responses, expecting others to perform, entertaining people, being theatrical, stomach rubs, big tall brute energies, sitting down or standing up, fur and fuzzy hair, playing instruments, dancing, performances, arm waving, animal training, bears, training, learning by example, fun versus drudgery. Well, I hope that's made sense to you on some level. Quite an odd set of keywords there. So the caution reads as follows. Being unable to recover one's feet, instinctive and creative performances for the crowd, fatuous need to be the center of attention, defying authority, vulnerable, working against normal instincts or desires, flapping one's arms, sitting things out, making a big noise but doing nothing, being cranky, ill-tempered, crazy behavior, not having a mind of one's own, giving up control of one's destiny, mindless and brainless, drugs and dope, loss of spontaneity. Okay, so that is the message um, that comes from today's uh, choice here for those of you who've chosen number three. I'd like to read one of the... Um, quotes that are on the margin of this page. It's by Malcolm de Chazal and it reads, our expression and our words never coincide, which is why the animals don't understand us. And I think that is key to this, um, to this message here today. It's about bringing oneself uh, back into one's instinct, uh, bringing ourselves completely in authenticity by leaving our thought processes and just simply being as you feel. And so that's my little contribution for today uh, with regard to number three. So thank you for those of you who've come by. I hope that resonated in you, with you and I hope you can take something from this message. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. All right, so let's move on. So for those of you who've chosen the fourth uh, option here, I felt guided to go with fourth option today. I don't usually do a fourth option, um, but it felt like I ought to. So I'm curious about what you think about this particular message. So I'm going to go ahead and ask, what is it that you need to know for this week? Please show us what is it that you need to know for this week? What is it that you've come here to hear? All right, and we have Pisces again. Is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to know at this moment? Okay, it feels like this again. Oh my goodness, have we done Pisces 23 already? No, that was Aquarius 23, right? All right, so let's see what this is. Okay, so the message reads, or the title of this message is, oh, let me see if I can get that into focus for you, a materializing medium giving a seance. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read the oracle message, the keywords and the caution here. And the oracle message reads the following. Many things can be materialized in our lives. They can come seemingly out of nowhere. They may be messages voices, noises, stories, or episodes from one's life. Objects can be materialized as well. We can conjure them up. Sometimes it can cause confusion, other times enlightenment. Realizing that one can create one's own reality and the responsibility implied in this can lead to the belief that just about anything is possible in one's life. The things that are materialized can be tangible and rewarding things. However, there should be some caution, as sometimes 
they can have more to do with drama and show rather than having any real or lasting substance. Sit with any new impressions you may be receiving until you understand the authenticity or depth. If you have to do something or perform in front of people, rest assured that with the right attitude and a little preparation, there should be no problem. You may have the talent and the ability to make things up as you go along. Energy can feel as though it's coursing through you. Notice the physical evidence that leads you to realize or see or hear messages. Certain words standing out in a newspaper or magazine, words of a song that bring messages, something special noticed in a photo or other image, etc. Pay attention to these messages and allow them to inspire you to connect with whatever and whoever is guiding you. Aspects of personality can erupt at appropriate or sometimes inappropriate moments. How much is true in the situation and how much is made up or imagined? All right, so the key words read as following. It's spiritual channeling. It's a need to free up stuck or earthbound entities. Efforts to materialize things. Coming straight out with things. Giving voice to spirit. Tarot readings clairvoyance and clairsentience, things seen ahead of their times, of their time, sorry, bringing messages from the other side and contacting the dead. The caution is the following. Putting up a false front, merely doing a performance for others, making things up, using mind control over others to get a desired outcome, using sensational methods to induce others to give up control over their own lives, exorcisms performed by the inexperienced, inviting weird energies or people. And I'd like to read one of the quotes that they, uh, that is on the margin here. And it reads, it's by Anonymous, and it reads, be careful of your thoughts. They may become words at any moment. And I feel that uh, this is how this message started off. And, and this is the, the essence of this message. Um, that one ought to be care uh, not careful, but rather observant of uh, what is real, what is not, uh, what we inject into our lives and what comes to materialize as a result of that injection. So I hope that's been useful for you today and I'll be back with your channeled message next week uh, with your oracle, uh, in your oracle guidance and I hope that you have a brilliant week ahead. I hope that this has been useful for you and that it resonates and I'm wishing you um, much um, endurance during these uh, strange eclipse energies. Yeah, wishing you a good week ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.